Hi everyone, it's me, Silverwolf, and this video is uh, for anyone who's interested to see how I ink my artwork, and especially for my friend Sterling Cato, who wanted to see this picture inked. So, um, I've got my pen and this picture of Silverwolf, which I drew in a previous video. So, I'll read out the shout-outs. We've got a lot to get through today, so I will be doing um, a skip thing in the description. So, today's shout-outs go to Galaxy Star, Velvet the Christmas Furby, Hero of Squid, Endy the Ender Plush, Cuddles Sets the Stage, E-Day the Furby, Decar the Furby Connect, Waydu and Leku the Furbies, who belong to Pokemon Extreme, and a big shout out to Furby USA Electronic, Awesome Trin 2000, Gamer Boy, Ashton the Kid, Rob Gore, Danny Poli, Space Core, Doug the Dog 6666, The Cute Kitty, Arta Puckle... Puckle Wike? Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, Bob the Cat, Cactus P, and Atlas McKinley. Now, let's get started with this. Now, what I'll show you is how I outline my artwork and also how I render my lines as well, because rendering makes it look a little bit better and more professional when you're um, well, when you're colouring it in, and it also makes it sort of jump more as well and gives it more of a style. So. Um, so let's get started with this. I actually learnt about rendering um, from one of my teachers at school, which sort of got me into it. You can of course skip past any of this if you want to uh, see what the final picture looks like, obviously. Outlining doesn't take long. A lot of people have asked me how long um, an average picture takes me to draw. Um, it depends what it is, really. If I'm more comfortable drawing it and it's something I draw a lot, such as Silver or any of my characters, or if I don't need to look at a reference constantly for it, then it doesn't take very long. I drew out a gift picture for a friend last night and it took me about 10 minutes to draw and like an hour to colour because it was quite a simple character. taken me a lot of painstaking years to actually manage to um, draw something out first time and be happy with it. I know a lot of artists say that, oh, you know, I'm drawing a picture and it keeps going wrong. It comes with practice and also with um, how confident you are with your artwork. And also, practice is very important. If you think you're a rubbish artist, we all start out rubbish. Every single person, even the greatest artists in the world, they start out and they're really not that good. But with practice, you get better. So if you really like art, and you really like drawing, and it's something you really want to do, practice. Draw every day. Draw different things. Challenge yourself. Draw something you've never drawn before, you know? Because you'll get better. If there's something that you struggle with, draw it more, because then you'll get better at it. A lot of people like how I draw paws. I have to say, paws are quite fun to draw. I 
well so you can see the picture a lot better after it's been inked as well the light is really poor in this room I have been switching on the light for the other videos I've done but I haven't for this so I thought it would be okay so hopefully it shows up alright when the final video is done Silverwolf's quite a sturdy wolf she's not like um, sort of a very feminine one with tiny paws and little legs that's what I always thought anyway I mean um, watching old Disney films and stuff like that they always made the the female canines more delicate than the males well obviously because they're girls aren't they so that makes sense but I've never really done my female canines like that partic particularly except maybe ones that are naturally slim like um, my Saluki Sino it's obviously seen, uh, Saluki's are very slim animals being sight hounds Nearly finished. It's very hard inking this with one hand. Well, I mean, I normally ink with one hand, but I can't hold the paper or anything because I'm holding the camera. So I'm trying to get it as accurate as I can. There. Okay, now you notice I haven't coloured any of our markings. None of that's coloured, um, sorry, inked. I've not inked any of that because that all gets done in pencil later on. So then, after I've inked, I have a nifty pencil case. There's my nifty pencil case. And inside are all my colours. And this is what I use to work with. These my Crayolas. I do have other um, pencils as well. Mostly I use Crayolas. I know it's a bit cheap but um, I really like Prismacolors but unfortunately we can't get Prismacolors in the UK. I'd have to import them and they're expensive enough as it is so um, so yeah there's all my bits and pieces. My rubber or eraser. I, I tend to call it an eraser Ever since my American friend told me that rubber meant something really rude, so I thought, no, oh, okay, I'll just call it an eraser then. So anyway, after I've um, after I've inked it, I rub out the pencil lines. It just makes it look a bit nicer and less messy. And I'm sorry if the camera's wobbling everywhere. I'm trying to. I wish I had more arms. Actually, do you ever wish you had more arms? I wish I had more arms right now. I often wish I had more arms at work because I have to carry trays and things like that working in a in a coffee shop. Um making coffee let's just push the um i call it a razor poo i don't know what it's called the you know the stuff that comes off the eraser but i call it a razor poo because it's kind of like poop in a weird way i don't really know what it's called a razor shavings maybe so there we go just rubbed out that. Oh, there's a bit I forgot to ink right here. There we go. So, that's what she looks like. With um, the lines are not rendered or anything like that. They're just plain old lines. Now, for rendering lines, it's a bit hard to explain, really, um, what what I do and how I do it because it just kind of comes so I'll start doing it and if I find a way to explain it I'll tell you 
but basically where the lines curve in like this let's move the camera a bit closer where the lines curve in like this you do a, like a little extra line there and like that because it just makes it stand out more and, and looks a bit better it's, I suppose it's a form of shading um, maybe but it's basically line rendering I think they do it in comics and things like that it just makes the characters stand out and pop more and it looks a bit better than just regular lines and it's probably most of the reason why people say oh your line works so cool and you know and I really like your, your lines or your smooth lines or something like that this really really helps a lot and like I said you can skip to the end to see what the final thing looks like you don't have to sit through me doing all of this it doesn't take too long to render lines you don't have to go through you don't have to go over all of them sorry um, just the ones that that need it I'm holding the camera up and looking around the side of the camera and then I'm looking through the camera to make sure everything I'm doing is still on the camera and I haven't wandered off somewhere and you can't see what I'm doing um, under here and I've started also doing this a little bit on my digital work because I was doing colored lines on my digital work but I found that somehow just leaving them black and rendering them a bit actually makes it look a bit better. I've just wandered off the camera there, sorry about that. really sure how I learnt whereabouts you render lines just kind of happened um, because what my teacher told me in my, D, in my DT class which is design technology um, he said well if you just highlight the lines that are underneath like here and there for a bit of shading and I suppose I took it a bit further and then uh, I did it all over the body of the animal or person or whatever I'm drawing I can draw loads of different things some things I struggle with I struggle with backgrounds um, scenery and stuff like that I'm in the process of practicing getting better at that I can draw animals cars, robots, humans fantasy creatures lots of stuff but there are still things I struggle with as we all do even the greatest artists struggle I think there we go all done so there she is and all the lines are fully rendered now and she's ready to colour so if anyone wants to see me colour I'm not sure if I'll do a colouring video because obviously that takes quite a while um, but I've rendered her lines at least and she's finished so I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time this is Silver signing off Bye.